In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix ClipChamp not opening on Windows. If you've been trying to access ClipChamp and it's just not cooperating, don't worry. We've got you covered. We're going to walk through a simple troubleshooting process to hopefully get you back on track in no time. First, let's get started by accessing the settings on your Windows computer. You can do this by clicking the settings icon, typically located in your start menu or taskbar. This is where we'll begin our journey to resolving the issue. Once inside the settings, you'll need to find the section labeled Apps. This is where all the apps installed on your computer are listed, and it's essential for the steps that follow. Now that you're inside the Apps section, there's a handy search bar at the top. Go ahead and type in ClipChamp. This should help you locate the app quickly without having to scroll through all your installed applications. Once you've found ClipChamp in the list, click on it to bring up its options. Next, look for a button or link labeled Advanced Options and click on it. This takes you deeper into the app settings, where we'll be focusing on making the necessary repairs to get ClipChamp working again. Inside Advanced Options, scroll down until you see a section that offers you the choice to Repair. Click on the Repair button. This option essentially instructs Windows to attempt to fix any issues that may be preventing ClipChamp from opening correctly. It's a useful feature that can resolve a variety of problems without having to reinstall the software. After you've hit the Repair button, you'll need to give your computer a moment to perform the repairs. Sometimes this takes a few seconds, depending on what issues it might encounter and need to fix. Once that's done, go ahead and try to open ClipChamp again. Hopefully, that should do the trick. And the app will start without a hitch. As a final note, if ClipChamp still doesn't open after following these steps, you might want to consider restarting your computer and attempting these instructions again. Sometimes a restart is all that's needed to solidify the repair changes. Alternatively, you may need to reach out to ClipChamp support for further assistance if the issue persists. And that's it. Congratulations on resolving the problem and hopefully getting ClipChamp up and running again. Thank you for watching.